What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Um, today we decided to do a pond vlog, like on my pond, and sorry for a little sweaty, we've been doing a lot of stuff lately, and I just thought it would be a good idea to show off my pond, or ponds. Before we, get, before we get into it, look at this view. That's great. We're in the plant. We're in like this, you guys like quick. the tree house. That's a fort. Yeah, the fort. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is where I'm keeping my tadpoles. I have two species, and oh, there's something in my shoe. So let's just get into it. All right, guys. So here are the ponds. Well, like oh. little buckets. This is where little he buckets. puts his tadpoles. This is where I'm keeping my tadpoles because my fish absolutely demolished most of them. Now let me try to find one for you guys. Okay, we're on. Okay. Here's one. Okay, super tiny. But that's not the main star of my These pond. ones are the tree frog they're, tadpoles? Yeah. They're Pacific tree... No. Western... I don't remember. No, they're Pacific tree frog. Pacific tree frog. And then he has uh, American bullfrog tadpoles. Where did the hell go? Huh? Okay. Give me a second, let me find one. Okay. That's like the driftwood that he has in there. Pretty good piece of it. Making sure there's no frogs on it. Or tadpoles. Okay, here's the one I was trying to show you guys. He's so cute. Oh, oh, it just jumped. Come here, dude. Can you make sure he doesn't jump? So, bring the camera. This one has like little legs. Yeah. It still has his tail, but it's a just drive. Yeah, his name is Four Wheel Drive. Yeah, we call him Four Wheel Drive. He's so cute. Mm -hmm. He's like my favorite. Oh, there he is. Yeah, he's over here. Right in there. Come here. I just zoom in a little. He makes cute noises. Like... Yeah. Scoot your boots. So yeah, this is where I keep my tree frog tadpoles. He like just got them today, like his tree frog tadpoles, right? Yeah, I just got them today. But so, now, let's move on to, to the bullfrog tadpoles. Yeah. So, in my bullfrog tadpole pond, um, well, okay. obviously bullfrogs. And these are the first species of actual frogs I've had. I started out when I just, had uh, no nothing in there. So this started out when, like, all my bullfrog tadpoles started out when I had bullfrogs, and here's a couple of them. And surprisingly, I got one that has his legs, as you can see. Oh, pretty tiny. He can hop, but you guys can. Name him in the comments or the poll above when I figure out how to do that. But yeah, this guy's so cute. Alright. So, how was Ponsta started? So, before he had like a little, he had this big old like, it's over tub. there. You can see it right there. Sorry if it's covered, I'm just trying to keep it. It's my covered head. with the fish, for the fish, like. So then nothing gets in there. <laughs> and then, so, basically, he found this pond that, well, I I found before, but he Actually, didn't. I found it when I moved into my new house. Yeah. He found it when he moved into his new house, and, oh well, yeah, but I've been going there since I was two. <laughs> what? Yeah. Since you were two. Yeah. Um, but, uh... So, he brought home like a jar of minnows, that very jar. No, it was a jar because some random kids came up to me and said, hey, you want some fish? And I didn't know what to do. And I didn't really know where the pond was at the time. And so I asked my dad, I'm like, hey, some kid gave me a bucket of fish and tadpoles. And then it all went down from there. Yeah, like he had just minnows. Yeah, not tadpoles, minnows. 
And then yeah, it started as minnows, and then a couple of baby tadpoles came in, and that's what lost my mind. And then that's when Trooper was in. Yeah, Trooper, which was our big tadpole. He was very well. Yeah. He was probably about like this big, yeah. maybe. He had yeah. legs that are really big, and he was eaten by one of my bluegill, which I really regret rescuing. Should have just let it there to die because it freaking. Like, it it was really nice and cool, but it was just e eating everything. Mm -hmm. And so then, that's how it started. Like, we got a frog. We've caught, like, a couple frogs that he's had, but they escaped. And then, like, he's had... He's had a lot of frogs that I've caught for him and stuff. And then, but they just escaped. Same with me. I had some frogs, and they escaped. But, well, I mean, that's why we should probably just leave the frogs alone and let them grow from tadpoles so they so they know us more and trust us. Yeah. But, yeah, so, right now we're just sitting in the fort talking about this. Ow. Oh, I just hit my head. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's pretty deep. Pour it down. So, that's my finger against that tiny little piece of wood. Well, not really tiny, but so yeah, he many well maybe two years in the making, two years in the process of this one, yeah, one year, one and that maybe one and like the half. And so something when I like just that. got my tree frog tadpoles, um, not really something good, but my fish here, so my over fish there. were eating my uh, tree frog tadpoles, and then one of them had a giant tail and just like came to that, so. This is why I had to take them out today. There might be a couple in there, but yeah. I think we got we got most. Of them. We got almost all of them. There's probably like one or two in here. Mm -hmm. and then once these grow, I might just give them to my friends, such as him and yeah. Pond Gators. I'll link his uh, channel in the description. And mine. Yeah, and his. They are both really good friends of mine, mm -hmm. and we all like fish and stuff. But yeah, so here's the water lily right now. It's closed because you can see night very close to there's some minnows. Yeah. Where are they? Oh, hi. These little predators. Yeah, they're evil. Okay, probably see them over here. Put out the glare. It'll be easy. I can catch one for you guys. Here. Here's one. These little guys are western mosquito fish. Mm -hmm. They're invasive they species. They're invasive, they're carnivores, and they lay eggs a lot. And it's okay for those water to be they're good. up. They're nice. They're pretty good fish. They're cool. Like, the females have spots on their bellies with, like, yellow and blue. Mm -hmm. but, yeah, I think that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Hope you like and subscribe. And also check the link in the description for Kyler's videos and channel. And then I'll link Pond Gators, which is another good friend that helps a lot with this kind of stuff. So, yeah, see you guys in the next one. Peace.